Hey everybody, it's me Vic. Today we are going to talk about lighting and chroma keys. Um, it's going to be a filter that we're going to do in OBS, so we're just going to start jumping into it here. And uh, the, the one thing I am going to mention is you're probably going to see me like off on the video, but you'll see me in the video because I have a green screen behind me. We're going to talk about that and we're going to talk about the lighting as well. All right, so let's get started here. As a matter of fact, this should be minimized and I am going to actually turn off the camera here and I'll show you why very shortly. All right, so let's go ahead and pull up OBS over here. Now, this is pretty much everybody's OBS setup, right? Like when you first start up, you're setting up your camera. So you would go to video capture device. We'll name this camera just for demonstration purposes. And uh, I'm gonna be choosing my Elgato face cam, right? So there I am, there's my green screen behind me. And uh, we're gonna select deactivate real quick. And I'm gonna check mark deactivate when not showing and then activate again. Um, the other thing I'm gonna do is go to custom. The reason why I'm going to custom is because I know this camera can do 1080p. I'm also going to do 60 as my FPS, and that's mainly because I know this camera is capable of it. Now, as you can see, there's some fuzziness, which is called, um, film. It, it's, it's a noise. It's, it's, um, either not enough light or too much light. And in this case, the, the light is not even on the distribution between the top and the lower end of the green screen. But we're going to talk about all of that here, right? So uh, for f video format, we leave it. For the color space, I always choose 709 rec. Color range, I always go full. And then on buffering, I'm going to go ahead and do disable. Um, the reason why I do this is because I treat it just like a Woodway capture card. So there I am, full screen, right? Uh, here we go. So I'm going to lock this in place. Now, how do I get rid of the green screen? More importantly, how do I get the light proper on my face, right? So I used control panel oh you know what i don't think elgato has like a little pop out thingy so i have key lights and it could really be any light depending on the light that you have either you have the light shining on you side of you above you or it's bouncing off the wall and in my case it's bouncing off the wall um i don't think i have a way to show you you know what maybe i do hold on i may I may be able to do this. Give me just a second here. Might take a minute, but uh, let me set up something real quick. And I just got to find it on my phone here. All right, everybody. So I'm using my phone to show you all the lighting that I have bouncing off the walls here. Okay. So lighting is very important. And as you can see, these lights are not only bouncing off of my wave panels, but they're bouncing to produce enough light that basically the wall is lit. So that way it, it hits my face at the right angles. Um, I don't think I need this on anymore. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I was trying to turn that off. So I realized that in order to use this particular app, which is the Epic Cam, I have to have Camera Hub open. I don't always have Camera Hub open. It starts up, but then when I deactivate my camera on OBS, it starts to activate on Camera Hub, and then I try to activate it again, and sometimes it doesn't always go through that way. So I have to manually do stuff sometimes. Anyways, uh, neither here nor there. So when it comes to using the lights, right? Like I have them bouncing off. So if I were to even just change the dials slightly, my lighting would be off. And we're gonna talk about that here in just a minute, as soon as I can pull up uh, my control center. So I have my lights at a cool temperature, 6,500K. I think that's for each of them. But if I were to change it, for example, if I were to go warmer, you can see that it's changing, right? So it's important, the type of lighting that you're creating or producing. Um, another is how low the light is, right? Like that's dark. So like you can't see me in the dark. So for the people who are streaming in the dark, you know, you, you need light and you need the green screen to be even on the, uh, the lighting. So the lighter you go, the better. Now I know light can produce heat, right? It, it happens. Um, so, you know, just make sure that the lighting that you do is working best for you. So the other thing is, you know, color, right? So now we can see the green. And when you see your hairline, when you see a headset, sometimes if it's too bright, 
it's gonna have like a shine or maybe look translucent. Um, the other thing is you're gonna be getting grain in there, right? So you wanna eliminate all of that. And we're gonna talk about chroma keying here. Um, so lighting is important, right? Just make sure that your lights are, are targeted towards you. For example, my left light, if I do this, this one is the one that's overhead for me, right? And then my right light, because it's hitting a little bit more towards my face, um, it's basically handling all the lower areas. Um, so lighting is very important. Um, and that being said, we're gonna actually talk about filters now. So let me go ahead and jump over here. Okay, so filters. This, this is the area that we're gonna come to. We're gonna right click, as you saw me do, we're gonna right click on our camera. We're gonna go to properties. Oh wait, I'm sorry, not properties. We're gonna go to filters. I apologize, I was jumping the gun. And then we're gonna go to effects and we are gonna select chroma key and we're gonna select okay. Now for the most part, as you can see, this gets rid of pretty much the green screen, but look, I still have a hue of green on my hair. You can see it on my chair. Um, we're gonna change that, right? So I have actually set up my perfect settings. Now what my settings are versus what your settings are are gonna be entirely different because you might like the light flashing on you. The reason why I have it this way to make it look softer on my skin is because when I had the lights directly on me, it was making my forehead way too shiny and I was like, no. Another thing was the heat that I was feeling. That's why I have them bouncing off the walls, hitting on me. Um, and it's perfect lighting for me. Yes, it's at full max. These are two Elgato key lights, not key light airs, not key light minis. These are two Elgato key lights and they do run a little warm. So. What we're going to do here in Chroma Key is we're going to play around with a couple of things. Now for me, I already know my settings, so I can actually just like copy paste. But I'm going to tell you what works for me is not going to work for you and you're going to tweak it. Um, so for example, right here on the slider. Sorry, I have to clear my throat, y'all. Right here on the slider, we could play around with uh, similarity. Now, if you mess up, you can always go to default, but similarity is basically like the system is already picking up that 400 was enough. And I think I'm gonna leave that at 400 for me because that was already determined. Now, smoothness, right? Smoothness is another thing. So what I'm gonna do is move this to a little bit on the far right here, and we're gonna still see, you know, me full screen, but we're also gonna play around with a couple of settings. So smoothness, as you can see, you can make yourself look transparent. Um, you you kind of want to play around with it enough to where you just have enough like the default was 80 um, I don't know I don't think I need it wait let's see what the default was the default was 80 so we can leave that there right like we don't really want us to go invisible uh, color spill reduction so key color spill reduction this might be the thing that we would play with right so like the higher you go the more it takes out that green so as you can see, look, the, the hue of green that's bouncing off of me, starting to go away. Um, 130, I'm still getting a little bit of hue of green there, maybe 140. Let's round it off to 150. 150 seems like it's a great, great idea. So now as I'm moving, you all don't see any green, right? So you see like brown, you see my skin tones, you see the chair being black, you don't see um, green anymore. And that's what the key color spill reduction does for you. Now, do we need to change the opacity? Um, no, because this is what happens. That, that, yeah, you, you don't need to change that. Do we need to change contrast? You know, you can, the higher you go. Actually, you know, it's probably better to play with the sliders, but this is what contrast does. We can go darker, right? But we, we want it to be normal. So let's just put that at zero, zero. There we go. We don't need to change that. Like, it's fine. It, it's standard settings. Brightness on the other hand. So this is gonna overexpose us, right? And we turn into like the Apple TV or the Apple commercial from like back before the millennia. Um, and then the darker we go, right? There we go again. <laughs> so, you know, it's just a matter of playing around and tweaking things out until you find what you like. Like, um, you know, this might look sharp, but, uh, you know, it's making my features look way too dark. Um, and that's what, zero? So that that's normal. It looks like we might need to go a little darker, huh? 
So this is where you come in here and you play around with it so you don't look super washed out either. Probably doesn't help that I chose a shirt to wear that was uh, extremely busy with noise. Um, so, you know, you could tone down the brightness a bit. But now look, like my chair is getting a bit of a uh, gain here. I mean, uh, not gain, but um, noise. Uh, all right, and then gamma. So actually I'm gonna put this at zero. And it's the gamma that I'm gonna play around with. So the gamma is actually going to be subtle, right? Like you don't really need to do too much on the gamma. And I think the gamma still keeps all of the details there without you having to either go too dark or too bright. Cause it's just like brightness, but it's a bit more, uh, I wanna say subtle. So what was I, I was at like what, 18? We'll round it off to gamma at 20. Negative 20, I should say. And uh, that seems to be doing really good for me. Now, what I just did for myself may not be ideal for you. Um, it's a matter of playing around and tweaking it till you get optimal settings. You also wanna make sure that when you're on camera, you get natural skin tones. So, you know, LUTs, some people use them. Um, if you are going to do an LUT, you can come to filter. Um, there are areas where you can add LUTs. Uh, where is it? Right here, apply LUT. I won't add an LUT to me because I've already customized my camera, the ISO, the shutter speed, all of that stuff is set up so that way I look myself on stream 100% natural. Um, but a lot of people do things to the extreme where they might have vibrant hair colors and maybe they want their hair color to look a specific way on stream. LUTs come in handy for that. Um, whereas someone's hair might be purple and they want it to look more on the bluer spectrum. Um, you know, there's a lot of different things that you can do with that. There's also color correction, right? Some people use this um, and some people don't. And look, there's gamma again. We don't even need to play with gamma because we took care of it under chroma key. Um, some people use a blue screen instead of a uh, green screen. Now, if you do use a blue screen or a magenta screen or a specific color, you can actually use these here to tweak your settings as well. Um, it's not just a green screen, but primarily most people use a green screen. Um, blue screens are usually used in movies, um, which is really interesting. You do see some things with green screens, but mostly blue. Um, and that's where this comes in. So, uh, you know, if, if you happen to work with film, uh, it's, it's gonna be one of those things where you can use that particular background and just like show you as a centerpiece. Um, and that's really what people want to see when you stream, right? Like they want to see you, they want great audio. So uh, I hope this helps one with lighting, but two also helping you configure your chroma key um, that's optimal for you. Anyways, I wanted to uh, thank you all for watching. 